Warner's top five quarterbacks of the week. We are choosing from a pool of ten. You're going to pick five, and this isn't the best five quarterbacks of the season, just the top five this week. As always, Kurt, let's start with number five. Well, I appreciate you protecting me every week and letting the Twitter fans out there know it's a weekly thing. But number five, we're going with Kirk Cousins. Now, there may have been some quarterbacks that had a better overall game than he did, but based on the nature of the situation, 0-2, People are, are about ready to run him out of D.C. He goes on the road against a 2-0 Giants team that's playing very well. And he answered, uh, you know, Eli Manning, score for score, came back late in the game and got them that field goal for the win. So just by the nature of the situation, I put him at number five. And Cousins has number the second most passing yards in the NFL right now. Kurt, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. And, and number four, we're going with the rookie here. Rookies don't usually make the list uh, this early, but we're going with Dak Prescott at number four. Continually impressed by this guy's poise and calm in the pocket. Seems like nothing rattles him. Been very accurate on throws down the field. Managed the games really, really well. Has Dallas at two and one. I don't think anybody would have expected that knowing that Tony Romo went down when he did. Yeah, he's been very impressive. Number three. We actually got another rookie. Two rookies on the top five. Carson Wentz. Everybody looks at the, the game book and sees 34 to 3, and they think he's probably should be number one. He didn't have to make quite as many plays, but what impresses me about him is the way he stands in the pocket and the way he's able to ad lib. He did a couple, yeah, a couple big plays where he just bought some time on the outside. You see one right there where he's running, another one where he bought a little bit of time, knew where the line was, tossed it over the top to Darren Sproles for a big play. So he's just done a great job of making the plays that are there to be made, and just like Dak, not making any mistakes. Passer rating of 104 for Wentz. That's seventh in the NFL. Who do we have at number two? Well, number two is Aaron Rodgers, and it was fun to watch Aaron Rodgers be Aaron Rodgers. I mean, I saw him at one point roll to his left and throw a ball about 74 yards. I mean, he does things that, that are incredible with the football, but they got back to being able to stretch the field, get some big plays down the field, which is what Aaron's so good at. So it was fun to see him back on track after all the questions about him in this offense a week ago. Yeah, bye week for the Packers. Then in week five, they have the Giants on Sunday Night Football. Number one is... Number one is a guy we talked about earlier, Trevor Simeon, uh, a guy that's only started three games, goes on the road against a good Cincinnati team, and what's he do? He just throws four touchdowns. And I was a little bit worried because there was some grumbling from his wide receivers last week. Hey, we're not getting the ball enough. We need to find a way. Well, he found a way, and they just continue to allow him to have opportunities to throw the football. Even in that environment, I thought he handled things well. Wasn't perfect but continually bounced back time and time again. Really impressed with these three young guys that are on the list and what they've done so far this year. Sixth round pick out of Northwestern, the first quarterback in NFL history to go on the road uh, and throw for over 300 yards and four touchdowns and no interceptions. A seventh round pick from Northwestern. Very impressive for Trevor Simeon. So one final look at your top five. We have it right here in the video wall. Simeon is number one. The fans' top five a little different this week, Kurt. They got Carson Wentz at number one, Simeon at number four. What do you think? Okay, I mean, I, like I said, everybody's talking about the rookies. They're playing extremely well. If you watch throw for throw, again, I was a little more impressed with Simeon and Rodgers. Matt Ryan could have been up there. He got 270 yards from his two backs, so I didn't put him up on the list there. But, uh, again, a lot of great performances. All four of those guys are playing really, really good football right now. So, I understand it, um, you know, but again, I liked Kirk Cousins' situation, the way he bounced back from those first two losses. That's why I slid him in at number five.